right, summer leaguers. This is day 16, just got in from practice. We worked on treading. Now, treading is a skill that um, that you can use it. I mean, a lot of times they use it for like life saving and just staying up above the water, but it can actually be used in training as well to help you to learn the strokes and to learn the kicks especially. There's different ways to do them. There's a lot of variations of treading water, but this is the way that I like to train my athletes to do it at practice so it actually helps them out throughout the season. It's a B right there, almost died. Now, the first thing that I teach them is actually with the arms. And, and you wanna have the sculling hands that actually push the water back and forth from side to side. And this will help to keep you stable and you're not moving forward or backward. It kind of keeps you in the same spot, but it'll help you stay up while you're working on your legs. With flutter kick, that they're actually using a competitive flutter kick where they've got it short and fast because the tendency of some um, swimmers while they're doing treading is to let their, their flutter kick get real big. Using on the whip kick, the thing that I emphasize with the swimmers is to make sure that they're actually completing every kick all the way together because again while treading a tendency is to actually cut the, the the whip kick short the wider the kick then it actually helps you to you know stay up a little bit more easily but it doesn't actually help you as far as training your body in the proper kick probably the most stable of all the kicks and it's the one that you'll see by people who are survival experts or lifeguards and different different people around the pool the one that they prefer is usually the rotary kick or the egg beater and that's where the legs will circulate in alternating pattern like this but it's actually very powerful and it's very stable and it'll keep you probably the most balanced on the surface level as far as a continuous force that's that's sending you upward all right we're gonna have a uh sibling joke a sibling no. joke yeah coach steven's actually gonna do it on his brother coach john we're gonna see how it works yeah i'll see it hey john hey what why do seagulls fly over the sea I don't know why. Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be bagels. Ha! Good one. Oh. <laughs> now, when we get into like real competitive treading, you know, as far as really helping us out with the competitive strokes, then I like for them to put their hands above the water. It puts all of the emphasis on the legs, on the kick, and it helps them to develop that kick because that's the only thing that's keeping them up. They're not using their arms as little flotation devices on the side. So they've got their hands up, out of the water and they've got the various kicks going on underneath Just take your mark go so if you have any questions or concerns then please let me know and uh ask away and i will do my best to, to help you guys out if you got any um if you got any jokes that you want me to try on the coaches then please send those in and uh, i will try them out see if we can get them to laugh but i hope you guys had a great day at your practice and i will catch you guys later bye all right guys i hope this is helping you out uh, that's it for today check out yesterday's episode if you guys want more uh, don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up if this is helping you out and if you have any questions or comments then please leave them below i will answer them as soon as i can good luck everybody take care